Microsoft has released a new speech-to-text tool called Dictate. And in this video, I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough, effectively an unboxing of Microsoft Dictate, and we'll see how well it works. And is this something you might want to try on your computer? So Microsoft has released a new application product, whatever you want to call it, called Dictation. It's from their GarageWorks, which is basically like a little Skunk Works side project kind of thing, I think, uh, internally there at Microsoft. And I, if, you're, if you started using mobile devices, I think more and more people are not typing because it's a pain in the rear to type on a screen. So you're seeing more and more people start talking to their phones, thanks to Cortana, the Google Assistant, and Siri. Uh, and of course, Amazon's got Alexa. These kind of personal assistant kind of things are becoming pretty cool. But the way they work is um, they are uh, essentially doing dictation and they're translating that to text. So we call that speech to text. And then you could also go back and forth. Now, believe it or not, uh, way back in 1996, I started building voice uh, activated systems. Um, I won't get into the details of all that, but um, that's how far back that was. And at that point, it was it seemed like it was re reasonably mature, but it's gotten so much better since then. Now, uh, I also have drag and dictate on here, which works OK. Um, but uh, and then there is also uh, uh, the speech recorder or whatever uh, voice to speech to text stuff. It's already built into the operating system. But this looks to be a little bit better. I literally just downloaded it. I haven't even tried it out yet. Uh, I opened up Word. And as you can see, I've got a new tab here called Dictation. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start. I haven't even looked at the instructions, nothing yet. I just watched the little intro video. So this is me starting this out. So let's start this out. Hopefully this will work with the Camtasia recorder going. If not, this is going to be a complete waste of time. And I'm sorry. But anyway, let's start. So this is me talking to the voice recorder. Did it not do anything? No, it didn't. Start dictation text. This detects Microsoft microphone connected. OK, well, let's see what happens. Let's try it again. This is me trying out the new Microsoft dictation service. So far, so good. It looks to be doing exactly what I want it to do. New paragraph. So I think I can start using this possibly to dictate blog posts and even scripts for videos that I'm doing. Another great use for this would be to write books and documentation that I need to share with other people. New paragraph. So it looks like it lets you effectively talk naturally and then tries to catch up with you. And I think it's a little bit off in places, but that's understandable. Normally with any speech recognition software, there is a slight training phase you need to go through so it can learn how you enunciate words, what your normal speaking patterns are, and any kind of local way of saying things that you might have. For example, I'm still a southerner at heart, even though I live in the US Northeast. And I still try to retain my southern accent and a little bit of my drawl. New paragraph. New line. Okay. 
there is a little bit of training I think that I need to do. But I do like the fact that I can just sit here and I can talk and it's going to try to figure out what's going on. I don't know how big the speech buffer is before it starts writing stuff on the page, but I do like the fact that it gives me the chance to essentially walk through an entire paragraph or paragraphs in my head and just translate those to the document after the fact. And it lets me pause and watch it. And maybe we've hit a, a kink here and it's going to not record anything else. Oh, yep, it stopped. So maybe there's a bug in it or something that made it stop. All right. I'm going to do this other, this other piece. Now, you're, they've wired it up to the translator, which is pretty freaking cool. Let's go to French. I used to go to France a lot. So, good morning. How are you doing? It looks beautiful outside. Maybe we should go for a good one hour run. New paragraph. Hey, that was pretty cool that I can now speak French. Stop listening. <laughs> All right. Well, I got to learn the, the commands here, but that's okay. Let's see what the about tells us because, like I said, I haven't looked at anything. So it's going to take us to a web page. And it's going to open up where I left off at, which is good. Oh, it's just going to take us there. Okay, so here are the commands. If you want to um, visit this, uh, they've got an alias uh, domain set up. It's dictate.ms. And literally, this was my first attempt at using it. I think it was fairly good. Obviously, there are some places it needs to kind of clean things up. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I'll look into and see if there's ways to train it and make it better. But I gotta say, quick run through, I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna try it today and see what else I can produce. So there you have it, my first run through with MS Dictate. And like I said, I think, it's, I think it did a pretty decent job right out of the box. I literally had just installed it and opened up Word to give it a spin and recorded my experience so you had somebody who had no training on using the product effectively walk through and dictate stuff fairly effectively uh, without a hitch. I also really liked the ability to do an automatic translation. I think that's a brilliant piece to add to this dictation tool. And speaking to somebody who probably understands technically what they're doing under the hood, again, Big kudos there for meshing or mashing up uh, a couple of different APIs. I know Microsoft has a translation API, and I got a feeling that that's wired in underneath the hood. Brilliant move, guys. Um, glad to see that happen. Um, so hopefully you're going to download the Dictate and give it a spin. I'd love to hear what you think. You can leave a comment below, and we can have maybe a discussion about it. But this looks like a very promising tool, and I'm very glad that the Microsoft uh, folks um, put the time in to make this. And it really looks to be a step up from um, the built-in speech-to-text uh, capabilities. And i got to tell you, I think this might be something that can compete against something like Dragon, which I also have on this machine. And uh, anyway, so good, good job there. Um, again, leave a comment, um, like the video. Uh, if you think this is pretty cool and definitely share it with other people because I think this might be something that helps people out.